Hi, I'm Jason Bellamy back here at NSC 2014 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, one of the things students get out of NSC is a chance to think about what's next for them in their career. And Eric Greenberg, you're going to be talking to them about residencies and fellowships so they can decide if that's a, an avenue that they want to pursue in their career. You've been through a residency and fellowship experience. Tell me about, first of all, when you were deciding whether this was right for you, what were you hoping to get out of this for your career? You know, I was an early clinician. I was. Uh... Uh, practicing for about three years and I had the opportunity to gain some exposure in a Division One athletic training room and that uh, exposure really um, gained my uh, desire to want to pursue this more long term so I looked at ways in which I can uh, advance my career in the quickest way and most effective way possible and I stumbled across the um, opportunity to uh, become a resident at a, uh, a Division One athletic program. And so that, tell me about that experience. You know, what, did, what specifically did you get out of it while you were there? Was it what you expected? Yeah, it was probably the best experience I've had thus far in my career as a physical therapist for the past 10 years. Um, I did my residency at the University of Delaware uh, back in 2008 to 2009, and I had the opportunity to work on field with their athletic uh, program, um, uh, football, rugby, uh, some basketball. Uh, I had the opportunity to work in the uh, physical therapy clinic with some of the leaders in the field of physical therapy and sports physical therapy, um, and had them mentor me one-on-one -on -one in an individualized care. Um, it really brought my career to another level. You're obviously getting that mentorship part of it, but are you also learning along the way whether this is really what your passion is? I mean, is that is it sort of another way of testing out, is this the road I want to go on? Absolutely. I think after three years when I was practicing uh, day in and day out, I don't want to say I was falling into a rut, but I wanted to see what else was out there. And this really revitalized my career to say, you know what, this is exactly what I want to do for the rest of my life, and how can I um, achieve the greatest effectiveness with my patients and with my professional development. So you're going to be talking to students here at NSC who have that question, who want to know if they, they should pursue it. So what are you going to tell them? What, what, what's your message going to be if they're considering whether they want to do a residency or fellowship? So my message, message to them would be to see what's out there. Um, there are a lot of different residency programs and fellowship programs, and each of them are structured a little differently. Um, and you need to find what is the best match for you. Uh, and uh, you need to decide whether it's in a university-based um, uh, clinic or is it on more of a private practice? Uh, there is no one right answer to any of that. It just needs to be a choice that you decide to make professionally and that you don't have to do it. But if you want to go that route, I would do your due diligence and find the, uh, the program that best fits your needs. Awesome. So you can learn more about residencies and fellowships at the ABPT RFE website. Um, for more dispatches like these, you can go to the NSC website. Eric Greenberg, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm Jason Bellamy. We'll catch you later.